Yermayahus, Jeremiah chapter 32. The word that came to Yermayahu from Yah in the tenth year of Sikayahu, sovereign of Yehuda, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar. Now at that time, the army of the sovereign of Babel besieged Yerushalayim, and Yermayahu the prophet was shut up in the court of the guard, which was in the house of the sovereign of Yehuda. For Sikayahu, the sovereign of Yehuda, had shut him up, saying, Why are you prophesying, saying, Thus said Yah, See, I am giving this city into the hand of the sovereign of Babel, and he shall take it. And Sikayah, whose sovereign of Yehuda, shall not escape from the hand of the Castine, but certainly be given into the hand of the sovereign of Babel, and shall speak with him face to face, and see him eye to eye, and he shall lead Sikayah to Babel. And there, and be there until I visit him, declares Yah. Though you fight with the Castine, you shall not prosper. And Yirmiyah, said, the word of Yah came to me, saying, See, Hanameel, son of Shalom, your uncle, is coming to you, saying, Buy my field which is in Anathoth, for the right of redemption is yours to buy it. So Hanameel, my uncle's son, came to me in the court of the guard, according to the word of Yah, and said to me, Please, buy my field which is in Anathoth, which is in the land of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance is yours, and the redemption. Buy it for yourself. And I knew that this was the word of Yah. And I bought the field which was at Anathoth from Hanameel, my uncle's son, and weighed out to him the silver, seventeen shekels of silver. And I signed the deed and sealed it, took witnesses, and weighed the silver and the scales. Then I took the deed of purchase, that which was sealed according to the command and law, and that which was open. And I gave the deed of purchase to Baruch, son of Neriah, son of Maseah, in the presence of Hanameel, my uncle's son, and in the presence of the witnesses who signed the deed of purchase before all the Yehudim who sat in the court of, my, of the guard. And I commanded Baruch before their eyes, saying, Thus said Yah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, Take these deeds, both this deed of purchase which is sealed, and this deed which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel, so that they remain many days. For thus said the Avhos, the Elohim of Yisrael, houses and fields and vineyards shall again be bought in this land. And after I had given this deed of purchase to Baruch, son of Neriah, I prayed to Yah, saying, Ah, Master Yah, see, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and your outstretched arm. There is no matter too hard for you who show loving commitment to thousands and repay the crookedness of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty El, Yah of hosts is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in work, for your eyes are open to all the ways of the sons of men, to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruits of his deeds. For you have set signs and wonders in the land of Mitzrayim to this day, and in Yisrael, and among other men, and you have made yourself a name as it is this day. And you have brought your people Yisrael out of the land of Mitzrayim with signs and wonders, with a strong hand and an outstretched arm, and with great fearsome deeds. And you gave them this land of which you swore to their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they came in and possessed it, but they did not obey your voice, nor did they walk in your Torah. They did not do all that you commanded them to do. So you brought all this evil upon them. See, the siege mounds. They have come to the city to take it, and the city has been given into the hand of the Castine, who fight against it, because of the sword, and the scarcity of food, and the pestilence. And what you have spoken has come about, and look, you see it. Yet you, O Master Yah, have said to me, Buy the field for silver, and take witnesses, although the city has been given into the land of the Castine. Then the word of Yah came to your Mayahu, saying, See, I am Yah, the Elohim of all flesh. Is there any matter too hard for me? Therefore thus said Yah, See, I am given this city into the hand of the Castim, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, and he shall take it. And the Castim who fight against the city shall come and set fire to the city and burn it with the houses on whose roofs they burn incense to Baal, and poured out drink offerings to other mighty ones to provoke me. For the children of Yisrael and the children of Yehuda have done only evil before me from their youth.
For the children of Israel have only provoked me with the work of their hands, declares Yah. For this city has been a cause for my displeasure and my wrath from the day that they built it, even to this day that I should remove it from before my face, because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Yehuda, which they have done to provoke me. They, their sovereigns, their heads, their priests, their prophets, and the men of Yehuda and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. And they have turned their back to me, and not their face, though I taught them. Rising up early and teaching them, they did not listen to receive instruction. And they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to offer up their sons and their daughters to Moloch, which I did not command them, nor did I come, nor did it come into my heart that they should do this abomination to make Yehuda sin. And now thus said Yah the Elohim of Israel concerning this city of which you say, It shall be given into the hand of the sovereign of Babel by the sword and by scarcity of food and by pestilence. See, I am gathering them out of all the lands where I have driven them in my displeasure and in my wrath and in great rage, and I shall bring them back to this place, and shall let them dwell in safety, and they shall be my people, and I shall be their Elohim, and I shall give them one heart and one way to fear me all the days for the good of them and for their children after them, and I shall make an everlasting covenant with them that I do not turn back from doing good to them, and I shall put my fear in their hearts so as not to turn aside from me. And I shall rejoice over them to do good to them, and shall plant them in this in this land in truth, with all my heart and with all my being. For thus said Yah, as I have brought all this great evil on this people, so I am bringing on them all the good that I am speaking to them. And fields shall be bought in this land of which you are saying, It is a wasteland, without man or beast. It has been given into the hand of the casting. Fields shall be bought for silver, and deeds signed and sealed, and witnesses be called in the land of Benjamin, and in the places around Yerushalayim, and in the cities of Yehuda, and in the cities of the mountain, and in the cities of the low country, and in the cities of the south. For I shall turn back their captivity, declares Yah.